In this video, we're going to do a second degree price discrimination problem. Second degree price discrimination is the act of giving buyers a quantity discount, charging different prices per unit for different quantities purchased. Let's do our example. Each customer of a firm has an inverse demand given by price equals 70 minus 0.5Q and we're going to assume that the firm's marginal cost is constant at $10. We're going to start under single price strategy. So assuming this firm is just going to charge one price, what is the profit maximizing price in quantity? First thing we'll do is get the firm's total revenue. Total revenue is price times quantity. For the P part, I'm going to just plug in 70 minus 0.5Q. So in parentheses for the price, I'm plugging in the inverse demand and that is all multiplied by Q. Uh, taking this Q then and multiplying through by what's in parentheses, we get our total revenue equation. Next is getting marginal revenue, taking the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity. 70Q becomes 70 and 0.5Q squared, bring down the 2 in front, we're just going to get minus Q. Following our rules of profit maximization, setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So 70 minus Q equals the marginal cost of $10. Again, we're assuming marginal cost is 10. Solving for Q, uh, this firm would sell each customer 60 units at a price of plugging that 60, that Q equals 60 into the inverse demand. The firm will charge customers $40 per unit. Part 2, or B, the firm wants to offer consumers a quantity discount for additional units purchased beyond 60 units. What is the discounted price for these additional units and how many are sold? So here we're going to do essentially what is block pricing, um, allowing consumers to buy additional units at a slightly lower price. So the discounted price, P subscript 2, equals 70 minus 0.5Q. This is just our inverse demand from the beginning of this problem. We're going to note here that Q, the total quantity of output, is going to be 60. That's the value we solve for in part A, plus some additional units that we're going to sell at a discount. And that's Q subscript 2. So the first thing we'll do is make a substitution. For Q, I'm plugging in 60 plus Q subscript 2. And then I'm going to simplify that mathematically. Minus 0.5 times 60 is minus 30. Minus 0.5 times Q subscript 2. We get this last term here. And simplifying that, we have the following result. Once again, setting up total revenue as price times quantity. Here our price equation now uh, is 40 minus 0.5 Q subscript 2 multiplied by Q subscript 2. Simplifying that by uh, multiplying through by what's in parentheses. Rewriting our total revenue now. Uh, let's get marginal revenue. So taking a derivative of this total revenue equation, we'll get back 40 minus Q subscript 2. Setting this marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Marginal cost is still constant at 10. Solving for the discount, uh, how many units are going to be discounted uh, beyond 60. And that'll be 30 units. And the price of those discounted units uh, beyond 60 will be priced at $25 a piece. All I did here was took this 30 and I plugged it back into our price equation, this P subscript 2 price equation. So the discounted price here is going to be $25 for any units purchased beyond 60. And let's go ahead and sum this up then. Uh, the firm will sell 60 units to a customer at $40 per unit. We found that in part A. And then part B, we found that the firm then will sell the customer 30 additional units, right here, this Q subscript 2, uh, at a discounted price of $25 per unit. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.